My story is a pretty unlikely one. A young Muslim immigrant running against Boris Johnson. I think that's poetic justice, don't you? I decided to stand because people like me, we were never meant to become MPs. I grew up on a council estate with a single mum who barely spoke a word of English. And for us, it was never about planning our path to Eton or to Cambridge or even to Westminster. It was about making it to the end of the month. And mine wasn't a unique story. Most of the kids I grew up with and the friends that I had went through the exact same experience. We would all have to pick whether we'd get the train or the bus to school or whether we'd walk and be able to have lunch. You know, I remember at school, we used to have a teacher who would uh, point out at every assembly that of every five students in our class, two of us would fail. And things only got progressively worse. We had our tuition fees trebled, our EMA cut, and our education system as a whole decimated. Here's the thing, Westminster wants there to be a distance between us and them. They thrive off of our apathy because the further we are from where the decisions are made, the more they are made in the interests of them rather than us. So some in the mainstream press have gotten used to calling us the radicals. But there's nothing radical about saying every person in this country deserves the best education in the world. There's nothing radical about defending everyone's right to free world-class healthcare from cradle to grave. Nothing radical about the idea that workers should share in the profits of the companies they helped build. And there is absolutely nothing radical about saying kids should never have to make the choices that I and my friends made. And that's whether we'd get the train to school or whether we'd have lunch at school. They say it's radical to convince us it ain't possible. It is possible. We just have to make it possible.